Welcome to Osaka, man. Oh, thank you. How do you feel? Tell us, tell us about your feels, for I'm hungry. Just want something good right now. Not McDonald's. Not McDonald's. So as you can see from that Clico sign back there, thank you very much to my cameraman for it. We're in Osaka today. It took us 12 hours to come from Montreal to Tokyo and then some three more hours by train to go from Tokyo to Osaka and then some 40 more minutes to figure out what the hell happens in this. But yeah, so today we're going around Osaka. We're in Dotonbori right now. There are a lot of shops. It's freaking hot. I think we'll survive the heat. And if we don't, it was nice knowing all of you. We're going to a temple. There is a lion head there. We're gonna see it. I don't remember its name right now. We'll probably take a few more vids once we get there. So uh, we'll see you later. While well, at the Namba Yasaka Shrine, they gave us this informational pamphlet that I, uh, I'm gonna read some stuff out of it now. So the exact year of the shrine's founding is unknown. However, it is said to have been established during Emperor Nintoku's reign, which was in the 5th century. According to the shrine's legend, a terrible epidemic disease swept the Namba district during Emperor Nintoku's reign. To stop the spread of the disease, Gozu Tenno, a deity who is believed to be able to get rid of diseases, was enshrined. This was the beginning of the shrine being called Namba Shimonomiya. Since then, the shrine has protected the people who were born in the Namba district. Okay, Fwaj, what did we do today? We went out, we went to a temple, we went to the Osaka castle, we almost got heat stroke. Fwaj's dying. Rest in peace, Fwaj. Pray for Fwaj. Okay, but seriously, we went to the castle and now we're gonna go out, we're gonna have some food. And then we're gonna have some drinks, I guess. Yeah, party with the locals. Oh, and tomorrow is gonna be even better because because we suck at planning these things, we have to leave this Airbnb by 11 a.m. tomorrow morning, and then our next Airbnb starts on the 7th, which means we don't have a place to sleep. We'll figure something out, I guess. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we're gonna put our bags in a capsule hotel, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, Come on, say hi to the nice people. That's a show of five middle finger. No, I'm good. Where are we? What's the name of this place? So this place is called Matsusaka Gyu. Matsusaka Gyu. And uh, yeah, so apparently we're going to get some premium Kobe. Yeah, it's going to be No, Wagyu, uh, Wagyu, by the way. Sorry, yeah. no, Kobe, Wagyu meat. If one, uh, post warden. Meat, the dead meat is eaten. What was your favorite meat out of the three that we had, whose names I don't remember? Uh, I think it was in the middle. Then it was the first one we had? Uh, yeah, Are you saying that because, because the guy cooked them? No, it was the, because it was pink and a lot more marbled than the second one we ate. That's true. The second one we ate was a lot more, it's a lot, it's a lot leaner. Why, because it was the lean shoulder? The lean shoulder, yeah. but it was good in the sense, but then you weren't picking up your pace, you tried to cook. All four at the same time. So I think the first, first We're also first, talking with the owner of the place. It's true, but the first cut and the same was subpar. Your cooking was off, man. I cooked them just as we would turkey. Okay? I know, I know, but hear me out. Okay. It's just my grievance against your cooking. You don't eat raw food where I come from. I, where I come from, we don't eat raw food too. But I learned how to eat, you know, meat with some blood in it. That just means that your palate has been colonized by the Westerners. I mean, or I colonized yeah. raw. the Westerners' palate. Mm -hmm. Sunny, who is the winner here? I am for eating cooked beef. I think my favorite was definitely the little one with the pinker or marbled meat. I think the last one we had was also marbled, but it was the leaner marbled. We could have gotten better meat, but that was obviously more expensive. And we wanted to go with the cheaper option. The cheapest option. The cheapest option. And I do not regret that decision. This was good food. We had a lot of fun.
don't know where we are. Apart from the fact that we're in Kyoto. We were in Osaka, took a train. It took us an hour to get here actually, so it's not very far. So if you're staying in Osaka, coming to Kyoto for a day is not a bad idea. We've uh, gone to the Nishiki market so far, which was quite an experience. If you like food, you definitely have to check it out. Fod had a little octopus. I had some soy milk. So I think he experienced more vegan life. than I have. Hashtag vegan life. Smash that like button for, for vegans. Okay. Any representation in this world. And right now we're gonna basically on a hike through Kyoto. We wanna go to a temple. Take us to climb here for it. It was quite a quite a hike. We got to the top. It was a beautiful temple. It's so hot. I poured some water over myself though, to kind of cool myself down. So hopefully we're gonna walk down the street now, which is gonna be easier than walking up the street. And then we'll see how it goes. All right. I'll take a still of you walking down and everything. Go. Okay. Bye. Don't, don't, don't look back, man. Just keep walking. This is a very professional occasion because I had the mic out, the camera's out, and we have a tofu hot pot in front of us. There's a lot of tofu in there, boiling, and then in front of us we have a bunch of side dishes. Let me show the tofu. There it is. We can wait a little more, I think. Just wait until it's like actually boiling. Some tempura of vegetables. Do you see the vegetables? We have this, which I completely missed. I think it could be like some sesame tofu. Then there's even more tofu, some more tofu, rice, pickles, a lot of green onions, and uh, tofu sauce. I gave all my shrimp to Fog because I don't like shrimp. We're gonna eat now, so see you later. This is not an eating vlog, so we won't be showing you how we eat this stuff. Hi. Hello, how are you doing? I'm currently in a hotel room. That's why I might be a little bit shy talking out loud right now. But I'm editing a video and I realized that I haven't taped anything that kind of closes off everything, kind of ties it all neatly together. So the first part of our trip was in Osaka and Kyoto and it was very fun, I would, I would like to say. Truth be told, heat kind of made it unbearable at points. Everyone tells you about how hot Japan gets in August. Who am I to follow anyone's advice about anything about a trip that I made 14 weeks ago, so uh, it is what it is. Kyoto and Osaka, amazing cities as you might have seen from the footage if you have gotten this far, but my favorite part of Japan has always been Tokyo, so the next few videos are going to be about my favorite city in Japan. This is my first travel vlog, I don't know how to do these, but I've seen enough so that I have a vague idea on how to do the travel vlog. I would love the feedback, give me feedback, I want feedback. The best feedback would be obviously some likes, shares perhaps. If you haven't already, subscribed to this beautiful channel where I will be doing more vlogs. So until next time, I'm gonna go back to work. So bye.